Day nine. <sighs> All right, we got the scrambled eggs and sausage uh, hydrating and just turned the water on. So we'll bring that to a boil and get that heated up. And then we're going to have, I think, some uh, scrambled egg, sausage, and bacon and cheese burritos for breakfast. So that's the plan. And this is the view from this protected little trio area that we're in. You can see my tents over there, a couple other tents over there. And these are all 100 feet, well, actually more than 100 feet off of uh, either Bomber Trail, which is over that way, or the Glacier Trail, which is back behind those that hump there. So... Mosquitoes are out today. Temperature must be just right for them. But anyway, so we're going to sit here and hydrate while uh, while we wait on the stuff to heat up. There's the first breakfast, I don't know, what do you call that? Taco, quesadilla, I don't know. It's got cheese, scrambled eggs, sausage, bacon. We're gonna let people season it with their own hot sauce. It's a breakfast taco supreme. Breakfast taco supreme, Wind River 2021. All right. So for my lunch, I'm gonna have some paella rice, paella curry rice and some eggs and jalapenos on top. All right, and so you got freeze-dried rice in there with some vegetables and stuff, and you're adding, what are you adding to it? The curry. The okay, curry, the curry, curry sauce that we made. Uh -huh. Yep. All right. And then I'm gonna put eggs in this little jalapeno bag. Uh-huh. And then I'm gonna rehydrate this and this, and then mix it. Okay, and so your plan is to cold soak them during the hike today, and then basically mix them and eat them for lunch. Yeah. Super. Great, we'll dump that sauce in there. Let's see it, what's it look like? That'll probably be enough. Yeah, that's... Maybe some powder. But yeah. That'll probably do you. And then are you gonna add all the eggs and everything now? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this soak once and then I'm gonna soak the eggs in this little jalapeno bag and mix it up. Oh, okay, so soaking them separately. Yep, and you're then... Gonna add, and you're gonna eat those, all those jalapeno seeds and everything. You're a machine. <laughs> like You're the, a machine. I like the spice, man. That is yeah, good. good. It's good you, flavor. I, I no, I actually like the spice. I I understand. I do too. I'll probably throw some some of these seeds in. Just maybe get rid of a few with this omelet. But but I do like spice. All right, all right. We're done with breakfast, and we've rehung our bear bags and secured our tents. And uh, we're just fixing to head up toward East Torrey Creek and Bomber Falls. And we're just gonna be doing some exploring. With any luck, uh, I'll be able to find some nice photo compositions and we'll be able to catch a few trout or at least get a line wet. So that's what we're doing. And there's the backdrop. All right, making our way up Bomber Falls to the top. We've already come up quite a bit of elevation. We've got just a little bit more to go. Hopefully not much more. <laughs> yeah, a heck of a rest day, right, Nick? Heck of a rest day. We want to see, we're looking for the wreckage of the bomber. We're hoping it's we made this or track, you know, for that purpose, just so we can pay some respect to the World War II military crew. One way or the other, we're gonna say, I'm gonna have say a little prayer for them and uh, their families, and then we'll hike back down. All right. Hopefully, snag a good view of the waterfall. Yeah, hopefully. 
All right, let's make some trail. You guys wanna hit the high point? Perfect for lightning strikes. It is. <laughs> I'm good, man. All right. Yeah, it's kind of raining a little bit. Waterfall goes way back up there. All right, we're gonna do a little uh, Tenkara fishing. I've got my little kit out here. Got my backpack thrown down beside the creek. This is East Torrey Creek at the base of Bomber Falls here. And uh, I'd stopped along the way up Bomber Falls to fish with that stonefly and blue nymph. And I got hung on the first cast on a log out in the stream. And so I lost it and ended up with a rat's nest. So I'm gonna sit here for a minute and get my line straightened out and then we'll tie on some flies and we'll see if we can catch some fish here in East Torrey Creek. Okay, so I've got the dropper leader tied onto the eyelet of the top fly using a double loop knot. And uh, now we got to pick out the fly to go on the bottom. And so to be clear, both the main line, tippet, is tied with a double loop knot to the eyelet of the first fly and then I've used, oh, I don't know, probably an 18 inch leader on the eyelet of the first fly for the dropper leader, which is gonna be this one. And then uh, now we gotta pick out a fly. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go with a snow cone. Just because I want to catch a fish on one. All right, so let me tie this on using the uh, double loop knot, and then I'll get back with you. Well, I've had three or four good bites so far, but I haven't landed one. I've got them pretty close. They look like little brooks and maybe one little cutthroat. just drifting and pulling back in. Oh, there he is, he's on. He is on, I hooked him. Nice. Let's get him over here and get him released. It's like a little brook. All right, we have to put the camera down and get this guy back in the water. Fish have been taking the top one, not the snow cone. Hopefully you can see that. Anyway, we're gonna fish some more and catch some more fish. It's a lot of fun. Enjoying our last full day here in Bomber Basin. All right, so I took off my tippet material because the tippet was too short. Did a battery change on the camera. So now we're gonna add my arm's width of tippet material. And we're using 5X tippet, which is uh, great for this kind of fishing, even with the big fish, like the big lake trout that I had. I mean, 5X, no problem at all. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and rig up some tippet material. And then we're probably gonna go, I did catch one more brook since the last videoing. I got that stone ply and hooked and caught a brook and then cast it again and got it hung up. So I'm not sure. We might go with something a little darker like this up top with a pink dropper scud behind it. So um, I'll rig it up and I'll show it to you in a second. Okay, so here's the rig. There's the dropper, the pink scud. And this is the top black mosquito looking fly. It's like a black Adam stone. I don't really know the, the name of the pattern, but if you know these pattern, leave it in the description below in the comment section. All right, we're gonna start fishing. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I got hung up and uh, I didn't pull on it that hard, but I'm done fishing for now until I can get a replacement part, I guess, or rig up a different one. Bummer. What a beautiful little run to fish. Doing a little bit of fishing before I hang it up with, uh, I don't know, about four foot, four and a half foot of top part of my Tenkara. But it is not ideal fishing. And what a beautiful run to miss. All right, I'm on, on the broken Tenkara. Let's see what he got. Did he get the scud? Or did he get the mosquito? It must be a little brook. There he is, he got the scud. Pink scud. All right, well, I'm gonna have to put the camera down to get him unhooked and released. He is under the bank now. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna put the camera down. There he is. And we're gonna get him released. And maybe throw a few more if they're still biting. It's just really hard with a four foot ten car rod. All right, I finally got him up on shore and he sure is pretty. But we're gonna unhook him and let him go. Okay, so I'm reeling my line up on this uh, line holder spool and I've about got it to the tip and because the rod is broke and I'm not going to be doing any more fishing I'm going to want to take off my line completely so I'm just going to put that there in my fanny pack to hold it there and I'm not sure if I can do this one-handed or not we're going to looking through the camera so if it seems awkward that's because it is and so the Lillian is this piece of cord on the end of the Tenkar rod. And if I just pull this Lark's head, it should loosen just like that. So, and then it comes off. And that's it. Probably case some water while we're here. I think I've got two liters worth of capacity, so. Looks like that's what Nick's doing. He's come up while I was fishing and getting filtering some water. So I'll probably go right down here to this cobblestone bar and uh, case some more water, take it back to camp. All right, so we're done fly fishing for the day. And before I head back to camp, it's several hundred yards at least back to camp. Um, we're going to use this Katydine Bee Free to cache up some water. And I've got a couple platypus here, plus we'll take this one back full. And then Nick was down here pumping water, and so he has a Sawyer Squeeze. So he's gonna be filling that one liter platypus there. Wow, look at that view. Nice view. So I think maybe I'll take a picture while the light's good with that view, and then look at these runs for trout. Oh man, they're just loaded. You know they're just loaded with trout. Oh well. All right, well that wraps up most of the day. We still have a few duties to do this afternoon and evening. Uh, make dinner, um, bear bags, normal stuff, maybe case some more water. Uh, but this trip has been great and I'm glad that I got out to do it. Uh, the trout fishing has been absolutely phenomenal in every spot that we stopped at. So, uh, just a real blessing to be able to be out here uh, in the back country and uh, look forward to the next trip. Um, when it comes to that max catch pole, that pole has worked great for me. Uh, and it worked great for me the first nine days. Uh, this morning when we were hiking up the Bomber Falls Trail to the high point of Bomber Falls, uh, on the way back down, it had rained on the way up, and on the way back down, the rocks were pretty slick, and I took a pretty good fall uh, wearing my pack with my rod in it, 
I have to assume it's something like that because it's really weird that it broke. I can't explain why a joint on the inside because it, the rod was collapsed, obviously, in carry mode. Um, and I can't explain why a joint on the inside would be damaged and joints on the outside weren't. And maybe they are, and I just haven't been able to see it in this lighting yet. But uh, I'll take a closer look at it and see. I guess my suspicion is is that it's related to the fall that I took this morning. Um, but I'll be in touch with Max Catch, who's the manufacturer, and just see if they can send me a section for that particular section that broke, because these telescope and you can replace each individual section if you have them. So um, try and do that and just keep fishing and backpacking and having a good time. So stay tuned to the channel. I hope you've enjoyed seeing us uh, use some of the freeze-dried products that you know we prepared over the last few months and have been making videos on. Uh, it's all worked out great and we'll continue to refine that and we got more products on the way. So, all right, time to take this water cache back over to camp and get on with it. Yes, I caught about 12 up on, uh, between the base of the falls and down East Torrey Creek, just a little brook trout. I mean, they would have easily fit in our frying pan. And then uh, another couple, I had four good hits and then I caught a couple of brook trout and then I broke my rod, or the rod broke, I should say. And, uh, and then I caught two more little bitty brooks on like the four foot end of the rod with, you know, the line. It's kind of a pain. So. All right, dinner is ready. So Josh, Nick, you guys want to tell us what uh, what we got here? Well, we got some seasoned rice, um, no some curry. no curry, um, some Southwest chicken with refried beans and a little bit of Colby Jack. Okay. Cheese melted in. Excellent. Sounds yummy, Jay. What's the taste test? Tastes delicious, man. We just got a lot to put down. Yeah, it's my bad. So these guys are gonna have to eat a lot. I hear you. This is what mine looks like. So I'm gonna make a burrito. The last of the after dinner sweets. This is green and blacks, 85% dark chocolate, and it holds holds up great in your backpack in the back country. And then what we've got left are three little mini mounds bars another chunk of chocolate and some hot tamales just a few of them so we're going to split those up and uh, finish those off here tonight play another round of two of cards and then go to bed well it's time to catch some z's we had a great day uh, caught a bunch of fish hiked up to the high point of bomber falls and uh just gonna wind it down for the day so like, subscribe, comment, and remember, when you can, get up, get out, live a little. See ya. John's all civil, he cut his in half. That's the way Johnny Freedom rolls. I'm a gentleman. Deadly gentleman. Josh is speechless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good.